Welcome to Studio Cloud's video tutorial on how to edit a client. We're going to start off with by showing where you can go to edit the client. Um, we try to do it in different places so that you have access to the client at any time. So in the clients overview section right here where it has a list of clients, uh, you just click the edit icon right there, edit client information right there to edit the client. And that icon is used generally throughout the entire program. Let's go ahead. We just went into the calendar view. Let me show you that again. We're in the calendar view and I just double clicked on the appointment and then there's a button right there to edit the client information from the uh, the session. The uh, invoice has a similar style, slightly different though. We're going to go ahead and edit the invoice and in, this one's right here is underneath the options. So it's the options edit selected client that lets you edit the client from the invoice window and then uh, from the projects you have to edit the uh, project well and it has the edit client right there option. So let's go ahead and go back and jump into actually editing the client. Similar to the create client um, to video tutorial, I'm just going to walk through each uh, what each of the fields is about. I'm also going to highlight uh, the differences between the create and the edit where it's applicable. So here we have the agenda that's optional. Um, first name and last name has the red asterisk which means it is required but like the uh, create client if you just put a business name and leave off the first and last name um, that is allowed uh, just for confusion to reduce confusion we don't have the, the uh, red asterisk on all three of them uh, if you notice here there's a client ID and that client ID is not displayed when you're creating a client it's only after you click the save button when you click the save button um, it automatically goes to Studio Cloud and gets the uh, next client ID um, so if you have an issue with your client ID and you want to start off with a higher number, you have to uh, go in there and uh, change the number here to be, let's say you have, you want to start off with 1,000 and you want your next number to be 1,001. This is how you do it. You go in here and edit the client ID right here. If you have the employee boost, you can do a, a security uh, role where you can um, mark whether or not you want an employee to be able to edit that. The address down here. You uh, just enter the address. Uh, useful if you need to do any mapping or just for your own sake. We have the contact, the email, different phone numbers, uh, portal password if you want the client to log in online. You'd enter their password right here. And then we have the referral right here for a wedding marketing campaign is the one. And you can change the referral down here between a marketing campaign, you can select another client, or you can just type in what the referral will be and I have to uh, select from a list. You can add a client thumbnail if you want to. Uh, this is optional, just useful if you uh, want to view the client. And also, if you go to cloud storage, you can also add um, as many images as you want. This is more the idea of this thumbnail right here is just to show you the a quick reference for that that person, business or family, just so you can recognize. Okay, this is that person that you've worked with. And then cloud storage, you can add a bunch more for reference points. A note section, um, you can add in here. Uh, we did a typed in a comment phone contact and then we have the the date and time and as well as the uh, employee that typed it in uh, you can this inserts date time and name of the employee and then you just type it in and you can also use templates to have pre-populated notes in here and usually if you're going to add notes you just come down and maybe do a little separation and then you can add in or some people like to add in the date um, ahead of time so they can say okay this is what happened on this date and then they add the contact notes below um, so this is just a, a big huge uh, list of comments if you want to have them separated by date and times logbook is where you're going to want to go and we'll get to that here in a little bit is the logbook and this shows you uh, different things you've done with the client and you can also add in new entries such as uh, you did a phone call or whatnot so this is a good place if you want to track um, each of the notes separately, you can do it here. Some people like to do the logbook, other people like to just have a big huge uh, note section. It's kind of your personal preference on that. Uh, let's go across the top here. History section. This shows you all the uh, appointments that the client had and similar to when we double clicked on the uh, calendar appointment, you can come in here and you can just click the edit button and you can see all the, uh, the uh, appointment information by clicking on the edit button and then you can also enable or enable, disable that checkbox to view cancellations right now we are not viewing cancellations and the same thing applies to the in invoice 
history. You can see all the invoices with, with this client. Uh, estimates and quotes as well. Payments. They've given you the, uh, $142.30 as the payment in this example. And then any payments you've set up that are due um, in the future. We'll list them there as well. Relationships. This shows you the client's um, name and any relationships they may have. Um, this is a basic relationship right here. If you go to more advanced, you can you can set up more advanced relationships where you can do parent child or whatever you need to. If you need to go both ways, it's useful. This is useful if you're going to be doing marketing. If you want to say I want to get all the parents, um, and then I want to market to I should say get all the children and then market to their parents using a marketing campaign. That, that's what the advanced does, but uh, it does take longer. So some people like to just use the basic because it's a lot faster. Uh, organizations, you just double click or drag drop to add a uh, organization to the client. Click to remove. Um, and if you need to create a new organization, you go down to create and uh, down here you can create a new organization and then we'll get to a few of these others as we go along. Uh, we, we did already talk about that. You can create an event from the client. So this will create a brand new event window with the client pre-populated in there. A little bit of a speed up and then invoice and project to order with the client and as well as the estimate and quote. Um, you can also create a logbook entry here or you can go to the logbook section like we did previously and click the new entry button. Dates, birthdays and anniversaries are the most common example. These are reoccurring dates that occur every year and um, you just come down here if you want to create a brand new one you can do create a new date right there and that will create a, a new one here but if you want to uh, use the date you just either drag and drop or double click and it will automatically add it over there to the client dates section. Tags similar to dates um, you can double click or drag and drop you can double click or drag and drop them across and then you can also create more tags over here. Tags are very useful for um, doing marketing or uh, grouping your clients. Um, if you're doing a school photographer we recommend doing the name of the school followed by the year. Um, that will give you be able to chop up the different group of children or students for that year and be able to it'll allow you to do marketing. And you can do different lots of different things um, with regards to tags. There's unlimited number of tags you can have. Cloud storage, these are the files that are attached to the client. Um, you can upload them. Projects, these are the projects that you're currently working on with the client. And uh, we currently have two there. And then uh, going back to the bottom buttons here, you can generate a document or contract for the client and you would need to go to document templates and have these preset up. And we do have examples that are a different type of of templates. Uh, for example, some of them we have here are model release, mo uh, model release for minors, wedding contract, that type of examples we have preset up that you can, uh, they're not in the system, but you can just click a button and it will create a, a sample for you and then you can edit it how you want. If you want to view this client on Google Maps, you can. If you want to get directions to this client um, from your business address to this client's address, that will give it to you there. Uh, if you want to convert this client to a prospective client, uh, you can. The prospective client is also called a lead. If you have a credit card number that you want to save, uh, you would need Merchant Warehouse to save this credit card number, but uh, you can you can save it just by clicking that button. Uh, useful if you are doing a retainer fee or if you just want to be able to have a credit card on file for damages or, or a breach of contract or whatever the uh, situation may be, you can do that. And the same thing here, you can manage and process credit cards from here. Uh, there's this send client portal email to client. This is if you want to, there's a portal password you can enter up here and then this one will have a pre-built email that you can send to client if you want to have them directly access the client portal. Uh, send cloud booking email if you want to have the, the client be able to book online. Uh, you can use this and that will send them a link that they can use to book an appointment online with you. And uh, if you want to merge this client in with another client, um, which is if you have duplicate clients like you've entered the information twice, that button becomes handy. Communication options. Uh, you can pop a window here to send an email to a client. You can send a postcard to a client using the same system and you can send SMS text message to a client. And uh, you can also use the document templates as well and you can have pre-built email document templates or email templates that will pre-populate with all the client's information that you have pre-set up and so you can quickly and easily create emails without having to re-enter the information. Uh, the create we already covered. The list, uh, if you want to archive this client, this is where you'd go. Archive them means that they are no longer visible in the list of clients unless 
um, you have you select the checkbox option to view them. Um, if you delete a client and that client is uh, has a appointment or a invoice in Studio Cloud or a payment, it will automatically archive that client for you instead of deleting them, and that's just so that your financials aren't messed up. Um, if you do not want to market to the client, you can select that there, and that will exclude them from marketing campaigns. So that if you send out an email blast or or anything like that, it will not let you, it will not market to them. And if you want to, you can have them. Uh, either included or not included in the client list. This is also called a hidden client. So if you, um, this is useful if you have a, a family but you only want to track, track the primary pain person in the family or, or just the parents. You could create all the, all the children as, as hidden clients. And uh, when you create a relationship, it automatically creates them by default as a hidden client unless you do that. So this uh, Susie Hall right here is a hidden client so she would not appear in, in the list. Referrals, we already mentioned that, and then printing. Uh, this will print client details and then you have the option to use the Dymo Label Writer printer uh, where you can print as well and this it has these pre-built forms right here to print. If you want more of a custom solution then the best option is to create a document template and you can go generate a document for this client and that will have a, a customized uh, print off sheet that you can use for the, the client. That uh, covers editing the client and uh, if you have any questions remember that you can go to our uh, written tutorials that will, that will have additional information in them as well as we have uh, the community forum and live chat on our website.